Okay. So here we need to explain the concept of finding the distance of a point from a plane. So suppose here one plane is given and one point is given P, the plane is pi 1. We need to find the distance of the point P from this plane. It means the length PM where M is the foot of the perpendicular drawn from this point P on the plane. So PM, so here PM is perpendicular to the plane pi 1 and the length PM we need to find which is D suppose. So suppose the, no, sorry, it is not D. Suppose the length PM only you can say so. So if the vector equation of the plane pi 1 is given as r vector dot n r vector dot n vector r vector dot n vector that is that is equal to d suppose mm -hmm. means that the normal vector to the plane pi 1 that is n vector so so here if we divide both sides by magnitude of n vector then we will get r vector dot n vector by magnitude of n vector that is equals to d by magnitude of n vector. So therefore we can write it as r vector dot n cap that is equal to d by magnitude of n vector. So now n cap is the unit vector along the normal to the plane pi 1. So now therefore now d by magnitude of n vector is the perpendicular distance of this plane of this plane from the origin from the origin <coughs> suppose here the point p has the position vector from the point o that is uh, a vector means op vector is suppose a vector means the given point is suppose x1 comma y1 comma z1 so it means a vector will be obviously x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap so now then obviously this pm vector so now d by magnitude of n vector is the perpendicular distance of this plane from the origin it means we can say that perpendicular distance of this plane from the origin means let's say this point is n so it means o the length o n means the magnitude of o n vector that is equals to uh, d by magnitude of n vector so therefore this uh, if we can find this length l then the required distance pm we can find let's say this point is d uh, no this is point suppose q so therefore pm the length pm or the magnitude of pm that is equals to actually the magnitude of q n vector also so this is equal to actually magnitude of o n vector minus the length o q vector so the length o q vector that would be equal to o q vector is actually uh, we have to take the vector component of a, a vector in the direction of normal means it means we have to take a vector dot n cap magnitude of o q vector that should be equal to a vector dot n cap so therefore o n vector that is equals to d by magnitude of n vector minus we need to find a vector dot n cap so now therefore 
magnitude of pm vector that would be equal to magnitude of this we can write d by magnitude of n minus a vector dot n cap so this we can also write it as a vector dot n vector by magnitude of n vector minus d by magnitude of n vector so therefore we can see that say that the required perpendicular distance of the plane the required perpendicular distance of the plane from the given point p from the given point p having with position vector a with position vector a vector means op vector is a vector then so that will be equal to pm vector magnitude of pm vector which is equals to a dot n vector minus d divided by magnitude of n vector so this is the required formula we can use so and if the <clears throat> So, similarly, if the equation of the plane is given in Cartesian form, so in the Cartesian form, if the equation of the plane is given as, equation of the plane is given as R vector dot n cap, means, uh, sorry, if the, if the equation of the plane is given as, that is equal to a a x plus b y plus c z plus d that is equal to zero then and the a vector which is the position vector of the point p that is given as x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap um and the uh, and then the normal vector to the plane pi one that is given as which is n vector that can be written as a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap since we from here we can see that the direction ratios of the along the normal vector to the plane is a b and c so therefore the required so here we need to find the perpendicular distance of this plane from the point p whose coordinates are x1 comma y1 comma z1 so therefore the position vector of point p is this a vector which is the op vector obviously so the required perpendicular distance perpendicular distance of the point p from the given plane from the given plane pi1 from the plane pi 1 is given as uh, magnitude of a vector dot n vector minus d uh, divided by magnitude of n vector. So now this small d that is actually this can be written as ax plus dy plus c z equal to minus d so then this minus d only will be equal to this d in this case so therefore that will be now magnitude of a vector dot n vector so that would be equal to a x1 plus b y1 sorry b y1 plus c z1 then minus of minus d so that will be plus d divided by magnitude of n vector so that is square root of a square plus b square plus c square so this is the required perpendicular distance of the given point p from the given plane pi 1 so now um, we can understand this by one example suppose it is asked to find the distance, find the distance of the point 
find the distance of the point 2 comma 5 comma minus 3 from the plane from the plane r vector dot 6 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 2 k cap that is equal to 4 so then so here uh, So here the position vector of the point P from which the perpendicular distance of this plane has been asked. So here, uh, therefore, A vector that would be equal to OP vector, which is the position vector of the given point, And that will be equal to 2i cap plus 5j cap minus 3k cap. And the normal vector to the plane that is given as 6i cap minus 3j cap plus 2k cap. And here d, d is given as 4. Since this, the equation of the plane has been written in the form r vector dot n vector that is equals to d. So here d is 4. So now, therefore, first we need to find a dot n, a dot n, so that would be 2i cap plus 5j cap minus 3k cap, and uh, then it's dot product with 6i cap minus 3j cap plus 2k cap. So that would be equal to 2, 6, 12, then minus 15, then minus 6, so that would be equal to minus 3 minus 6 that is minus 9 now therefore now the magnitude of the vector n that is given as square root of 6 square plus 3 square plus 2 square so that would be equal to square root of 36 plus 9 plus 4 so that is square root of 49 so that would be equal to 7 then uh, so therefore now Therefore, now the required perpendicular distance, the required perpendicular distance of the given point from the given plane, of the given point from the plane, from the given plane is given as, it is mod of a dot n minus d by magnitude of n vector. So a dot n is minus 9. So that would be equal to magnitude of minus 9 minus 4 by magnitude of n vector that is 7. So that is equals to magnitude of minus 13 by 7. So that is 13 by 7 units. So this is the final answer. Thank you.